Gower's sign. Gower's sign indicates that there is weakness in the proximal muscles. It is usually seen in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The sign describes a patient that has to use his hands and arms to walk up his body in order to achieve an erect position. This is due to weakness of the quadriceps and gluteus muscles. The patient begins in the squatting position. This is followed by slowly lifting the hip and assuming a tripod position. The patient then places his hands on the knees as he slowly walks up his body. When testing a patient for Gower's sign, make sure to perform the test away from any object or structure that the patient may use to aid his movement. Patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy show progressive muscular weakness due to the absence of dystrophin. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetically transmitted condition that has an X-linked recessive mode of inheritance. Healthy carrier mothers transmit the condition to their male children. The condition is characterized by progressive loss of motor strength, especially to the proximal muscle groups. Remember, this is a muscular problem, not a nerve disorder. Labs may show markedly elevated levels of creatinine phosphokinase, which can reach above 25,000 international units per litre. The symptoms usually appear before six years of age. Children will have difficulty standing unaided and ascending stairs. On examination, one could note calf pseudohypertrophy. Also, an equina varus foot deformity may be seen that occurs due to contracture of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles with persistent function of the tibialis posterior muscle. The patient may also have scoliosis, which is treated with fusion if it's more than 20 degrees. Cardiomyopathy may also be seen. As the condition progresses, the muscle is replaced with fat and fibrotic tissue. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.